The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 8 oh. There are some other data relative to the ball of quartz of Westmoreland. They are poor things. There's so little to them that they look like ghosts of the damned. However, ghosts, when multiplied, take on what is called substantiality. If the solidest thing conceivable in quasi-existence is only concentrated phantomosity, it is not only that there have been other reports of quartz that has fallen from the sky, there is another agreement. The round quartz object of Westmoreland, if broken open and separated from its loose nucleus, would be a round, hollow, quartz object. My pseudo-position is that two reports of similar extraordinary occurrences, one from England and one from Canada, are interesting. Proceedings of the Canadian Institute, Series 3, Volume 7, Page 8. That, at the meeting of the Institute of December 1st, 1888, one of the members, Mr. J. A. Livingston, exhibited a globular quartz body which he asserted had fallen from the sky. It had been split open. It was hollow. But the other members of the Institute decided that the object was spurious, because it was not of true meteoritic material. No date, no place mentioned, we note the suggestion that it was only a geode, which had been upon the ground in the first place. Its crystalline lining was geode-like. Quartz is upon the index prohibitory of science. A monkey would read Darwin would sin no more than would a scientist who would admit that, except by up and down process, quartz has ever fallen from the sky, but continuity. It is not excommunicated if part of or incorporated in a baptized meteorite, St. Catharines of Mexico, I think. It's as epicurean a distinction as any ever made by theologians. Fasigalists a quartz pedal, found in the hailstone, bibliography, part 2, page 355. Up and down, of course. Another object of quartz site was reported to have fallen, in the autumn of 1880, at Shroon Lake, New York, said in the Scientific American, volume 43, page 272, to be a fraud, it was not, the usual. About the 1st of May, 1899, the newspapers published a story of a snow-white meteorite that had fallen, at Vincennes, Indiana. The editor of the Monthly Weather Review, Monthly Weather Review, April, 1899, requested a local observer, at Vincennes, to investigate. The editor says that the thing was only a fragment of a quartz boulder. He says that anyone with at least a public school education should know better than to write that quartz has ever fallen from the sky. Note and Queries, Series 2, Volume 8, page 92, that, in the Leiden Museum of Antiquities, there is a disc of quartz, 6 cm by 5 mm by about 5 cm, said to have fallen upon a plantation in the Dutch West Indies, after a meteoric explosion.